Hello, and welcome to the Hitchhiker's Guide to Morrowind. What's your name? My name? Okay, so now what I hope to do with these guides is make Morrowind a little more new user friendly because it's really not as it stands. I mean, Morrowind is a big place and there's a lot to do in it. And he just kind of drops you off with a flask and some butties and goes, Right, off you go then. Um, where am I going? <laughs> you know. So in this first guide, I just want to briefly explain how to get a good character build going. Because depending what you get, you can change the game completely from a really enjoyable, nice experience to just like, oh, I just keep getting killed off rats. Yeah. So the... Ooh, mouse just went then. First thing you're going to be doing here is selecting your race. Now you'll notice with the races, they all have their own attributes and spells and... Let's see, what have we got here? Ancestor Garden, Sanctuary, 50 points for 60 seconds on self. Now that's like a spell you were able to use like once once a day usually, completely free of charge. Always, always work. This one's more stat, stat like bonuses and well it's not actually a bonus is it? And half of them go down. But yeah, you just want to have a look through there, see what they all are. Also notice the skill bonuses. Each race will start off with a nice boost in certain skill. I always like Kashi for acrobatics. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for Imperial here though, go for a sort of a, you know, smash head with rock tactic. Never, never fails. Change six, let's go. Face. Ooh, she looks weird. <laughs> right, so Imperial has long blade. Now this is another thing you wanna do in this game. You wanna try and boost as much as you can into one main attack, whether it be magic or, you know, like a weapon type. I wouldn't recommend magic for a first time playthrough, though. I, I really wouldn't recommend magic. <laughs> There's far too much going on. Taking its time. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Alright, so here now, I'm going to go custom class and just explain to you. Specialization. Combat, magic, stealth. Um, Self-explanatory, really, aren't they? I'm going to go with combat, since I'm making bash head with rock. Favourite attribute, stealth, stealth, blah, 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 strength. Right, now what I recommend you do with these skills as well is always have um, some form of attack, like I was saying before, as one of your major skills, because these are all these are going to receive a very large boost. And they're going to receive a boost as well, just not as much. So if you remember Longblade already received a boost because of the race stats, I'm going to boost it a little bit more. Now pick whatever you want in them. Uh, what I don't recommend though is Athletics and Acrobatics, because they actually go up on their own. So if you've got something else you'd like to get up and going, just you know, scrap one of them too. Also, an armor type. I personally like light armor. So you've got a, we a weapon type and an armor type in major skills, so that's going to boost them from the start. That You'll benefit from that a lot. Uh, whatever you want in major and minor, again, you just click through and just have a look at them all and, and figure out your own. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Ah, the star sign. Now this is just like another nice little boost. They've all got certain things. Some of them are permanent stat boosts, like this one, Fortify Maximum Magicka. But you've also got weakness to Magicka as well, so you can cast more, but you take less. They've all got their own little stats. Some some of them are like um, like in the race abilities, like a spell you can cast once a day. I'm just going to go with the Warrior. Fortify attack, 10 points. Smash face with rock. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Right, now you see their long blade, 45. It only goes up to 100, so already you're almost halfway there. I mean, it just means you're going to be able to hit things when you're actually in the battle. So you can change all them. You can see the strength and everything, again, based on stats. So you have to have a proper look about. But as long as you just follow that, just try and get one skill as high as you possibly can. And you should be good. Okay. Yep, yep, Show yep. Your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Yep, yep, yep. 
Continue through to the next building and talk to Celestrite. I'm just going to show you two more things. I'm going to show you when it's fully unlocked my layout, my item layout. Here we go. I mean, everybody's going to have their own personal preference, but I do find that really handy because you never look at this bit. Or hardly ever, anyway. Only to check, like, your stats haven't been reduced somehow. No spoilers. Um, I just like to have a nice big map there, so when I'm just wandering about, I can just quickly... Where's my map? There it is. And items. You've got a nice big item window. Um, magic's just there. You can bring it to the top if you need it, so... Completely. That's personal preference, though. But you might be the same. Now, I'm just going to... Quick advice on talking. If you can't be bothered reading everything... Okay. Anything, any point of interest is highlighted in blue, like this, so just click about there. And what I generally do is just keep clicking about until you get that. Your journal has been updated, then I'll go back and read it. So this package came with the news of your arrival, you have to take it to Cassius Cassades, highlighted blue. So click that, and it'll probably tell us where he is. Oh, I can't tell you where to find him, but you have to go to the South Wall Corner Club. Okay, so it's just giving you information on how to do it. Now your journal, that's the third option that I didn't, I've just thought up now any topic you talk about if it's in your journal uh, I'm trying to go with J for journal Cassie, see we've just spoken about him anything that has been said about him will appear in your journal so that's really handy for finding people or checking directions and stuff and also your quests go in there so you can access it that way um, failing that, when this fills up, you can just flip page to page. Alright, now this is where it starts getting daunting for people. Welcome to Morrowind. 